Hey guys, how y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. And today what I have for you guys is a Grand Theft Auto video. Now, I've been playing GTA for a little while here. Uh, you know, not too many years. I know some people are like, oh, GTA is my childhood. I started playing GTA probably with, uh, 5, GTA 5. I don't know, 20, 2016, something like that. And, uh, then I got GTA 4, and then I got GTA San Andreas on the, uh, you know, Xbox 360 is more like the freaking, you know, uh, iOS phone version ported over to disc. It crashed. It sucked. But from what I played of San Andreas, I really friggin' liked it, right? It had really cool cities and really cool areas. Uh, you know, pretty garbage graphics, but, you know, it's an old game. But finally, we have the official confirmation that Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas will be finally coming to modern consoles sometime this year from Rockstar Games. Now, I'm going to have the link for this down in the description if you want to read the article yourself, and I'm going to go over some key things. So, it's called Grand Theft Auto or GTA, the trilogy, the definitive edition. I don't know why the F it's called that. Um, maybe because they wanted to, like, replace the old one. I don't know. Kind of a long-ass name, kind of like Black Ops Cold War, but what are you going to do, I guess? Uh, so, GTA, the trilogy, the definitive collection. Uh, it is coming this year to uh, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X. An Xbox Series S, uh, Nintendo Switch, and PC. Pretty friggin' crazy it's coming on the Switch. Uh, and then a mobile edition for the game will be coming for iOS and Android coming in the first half of 2022. So, uh, look, you know, a lot of people have GTA San Andreas, Vice City, and 3. More specifically, uh, you know, San Andreas and Vice City. Uh, in a lot of people's minds, right? Like, GTA San Andreas is like the best Grand Theft Auto game, right? For a lot of people. And from what I played, uh, you know, on the on the phone version, uh, on my Xbox, it uh, it worked. You know, I mean, it was it was kind of fun. You know, it, it crashed 24/7, and I traded it in. But uh, you know, the game worked for the most part. Besides, you know, that which I guess let me just say it didn't work. It didn't work at all. F it, and I had to trade it in. But from what I played, it was pretty freaking fun. So being able to play GTA 3, which I do own on the PS2. It sucks, it's freaking horrible, and I don't care, you know, oh, it was good during the time. I doubt anyone liked it during the time. I know some diehard GTA fans probably love it, and I'm not trying to say it's it's the worst thing ever made, but uh, from what I play, Grand Theft Auto 3 is not very good. Um, so hopefully with the remaster, you know, here's the thing, though. The, the term remaster kind of has to be in quotation marks because a lot of people see a remaster, or, you know, hear the word remaster, and they go, oh, my God. You know, it's going to it's gonna look amazing, and the mods, you know, like, you, you YouTube the mods, right, for San Andreas Vice City and 3, you, you, you YouTube some mod gameplay, and it looks freaking perfect, right? It looks like Grand Theft Auto V, but just another GTA game, right? And look, that's not how this is going to look. We don't have any official gameplay yet. We will get some in the coming weeks, they said. However, uh, they did say that they wanted to keep 3, Vice City, and San Andreas, uh, you know, updated and improved... But they wanted to keep it in the same vein as when it originally came out on the PS2 era. So, uh, it's probably going to look a a better, but it's not going to look like how you would, you know, like I said, YouTube a mod, and it, it's like a big F and overhaul, and it looks incredible, and it's the best thing since sliced bread. That would not happen. Maybe I'm wrong, but I know Rockstar, right? And their last GTA 5 trailer for the next-gen version coming to Series X and PS5, uh, March of 2022... That trailer got effing destroyed, man, because I watched it. It's horrible. It's a shitty trailer. I'm just going to tell you straight up. It's horrible. Um, glitches all around. No improvements. It just look. I might get it if I see some real improvements, uh, but right now GTA 5 Remastered looks like dog water. However, going with this, uh, you know, the, the trilogy definitive edition of GTA 3 Vice City and San Andreas, with no gameplay, for me especially, I'm going to be picking this up on my Series X for sure. Because, again, from what I played of San Andreas and 3, I, I kind of liked it. You know what I mean? It's the old version, and it didn't really work. But this version will look the best. It'll run better, probably. Hopefully 60 FPS, because they're old games. Uh, we're not sure on that yet. But it looks really fun. You know, I think that this is really good for me. Because I played GTA 5 and 4. You know, like all of it. Uh, and, and seeing... You know, having these three games kind of rebundled, kind of like Uncharted 1, 2, 3 got remastered, right? This is kind of what that is, but for Grand Theft Auto. Pretty cool. It says the game's going to feature across-the-board graphics, including graphical improvements and modern gameplay enhancements for all three titles, while still maintaining the classic look and feel of the original. So, again, don't expect this big overhaul like you see on the mods on YouTube, right? It's not going to look that good, but it will look better than what we've had in the original vanilla version of that game. Um, again... Uh, it's going to be, uh, Rockstar also announced that it is, uh, removing the existing versions of GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas from digital stores beginning next week. So, uh, it looks like Rockstar is taking the original versions of all three games down. Uh, I don't know why they have, they're doing that. Um, 
I don't know. Maybe because, you know, this is the definitive edition. Maybe they're trying to make it the best. I don't know. Um, GTA 3's 20th anniversary is going to be having some ge uh, gear to collect in GTA Online. I don't play online. I don't give a crap about GTA Online. But for those who do, there's that. Uh, yeah, so like I said, uh, uh, okay, yeah, so that, 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 that's GTA, I'm looking at the article, that's GTA 5. Alright, so, uh, again, across the board graphical improvements, uh, and it's gonna be covering GTA 3, Vice City, San Andreas. Very cool. Tell me in the comments out of those three games, what's your favorite? I cannot freaking wait to get this, man. Hopefully we get some trailers and some actual, you know, good, uh, good solid gameplay soon. I can't wait for it, though. I don't know if you're gonna be seeing GTA 5 gameplay, my gameplay, or trailer footage. I don't know, whatever. You're gonna be seeing something here. But again, tell me in the comments what your favorite was. I really enjoyed San Andreas. I didn't really like 3, and I never played Vice City. But hopefully, um, you know, this will be a really cool collection of remasters. Hopefully it'll be really, really fun. I can't wait to buy this. I can't wait, man. GTA 5 and 4 is really great. Um, you know, I don't like tapping the A button, but whatever, F that, I guess. Uh, so it should be a lot of fun, though. I really can't wait. This is a great time to announce this. Uh, and hopefully we'll get some actual GTA 5 remaster news that doesn't look like the same recycled crap from 20 freaking 13. But still, can't wait. This looks a lot of fun. Again, GTA, uh, what's it called? GTA, uh, the trilogy. Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition coming soon, later this year doesn't get delayed, I'm assuming it won't, um, hopefully when we get some trailer footage or some gameplay, I'll show that, again, if you want to see this, I doubt I'll be able to film this, however, because my Series X still does not let me record audio for specific games, I'll have to try it out when I get it, but still, can't bloody wait, this is going to be a great experience, and, uh, you know, more Grand Theft Auto, especially these three games, man, older games I never played, being remastered that I've, I'm getting to play for the first time, it's going to be freaking sick, man. I can't wait. Tell me in the comments, again, what's your favorite and what you're most looking forward to out of these three games. Thank you, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.